Welcome to the lecture series of numerical methods. Today we are going to discuss numerical integration. Under this topic, the first rule is trapezoidal rule. The rule is integral x0 to xn f of x dx equal to h by 2 y0 plus yn plus 2 times of y1 plus y2 plus etc yn minus 1 where y equal to f of x. This is the trapezoidal rule. This is a formula actually. We are going to use this formula only for finding the integration value for given data. And the next one is error in the trapezoidal rule. E is less than minus n h power 3 by 12 y double dash of zeta and which is equal to minus of b minus a by 12 h square into y double dash of zeta since n is equal to b minus a by h. So, error in the trapezoidal rule is a 2 mark question. So, the value of error that is e is less than minus n h power 3 by 12. In this place of n we can replace the value b minus a by h. When you are substituting the value of n here we can get the value of h will cancel and here we can get it as h square. So, the value of e is equal to minus of b minus a by 12 h square y double dash. Since the order of error in the trapezoidal rule is h square. This h square is called it as order of error in the trapezoidal rule. So, these two things that is error in trapezoidal rule and order of error in trapezoidal rule both the questions are two mark questions. Under this numerical integration the theory questions will be like this only error in the trapezoidal rule or order of error in trapezoidal rule this kind of questions can be asked under the numerical integration. Then the next one we are having two note. The first note says that since we approximate the given integral by the sum of n trapezoids we call it as trapezoidal rule. So, here we are approximating the given integral that is in the question we are having some integration. For that integration we are getting the approximate value only. How we are getting that by the sum of n trapezoids that is the reason why this rule is called it as trapezoidal rule. So, how the question will be? The question is why the trapezoidal rule is so called. So, why it is so called a trapezoidal rule? Because we are getting the integration value sum of n trapezoids. This is the reason why which is called it as trapezoidal rule. Then the note 2 says that we are finding the area of the curve enclosed by y equal to f of x, the x axis, the ordinates x is equal to a and x is equal to b by using the area of trapezium. So, here the note 2 says that we are finding the area of the curve. The curve enclosed by y equal to f of x, x axis and x is equal to a and x is equal to b. So, okay, by using the area of trapezium. So, this is called it as geometrical interpretation of trapezoidal rule. So, this part that is the note 2 can be asked uh, write geometrical interpretation of trapezoidal rule or explain the geometrical interpretation of trapezoidal rule. So, if the question comes like this you have to answer this one. We are finding the area of the curve enclosed by y equal to f of x, the x axis and the ordinate x equal to a and x equal to b by using the area of trapezoidum. So, these are the very basic things under the trapezoidal rule. We have to remember all the things when we are doing the problems. Okay. So, now we will do the problems. Look at the first question. Evaluate integral 0 to 1 dx by 1 plus x square using trapezoidal rule with h is equal to 0 0.2 and hence determine the value of pi. The question is evaluate integral 0 to 1 dx by 1 plus x square using trapezoidal rule with h is equal to 0 0.2 and hence determine the value of pi. So, the question consists of two part. The first one is we have to evaluate the integral and then we have to find the value of pi. So, two part in this question. So, we will do the problem. First one look at the solution. Here given the question what is given in the question h is given given h is equal to 0 0.2 okay. and we know that generally always we know that y equal to what y equal to f of x. 
So now in the theory part that is in the formula we have written that integral x0 to xn f of x dx. So this f of x is nothing but what? Always f of x is nothing but y. So where y equal to f of x. Okay. So this is nothing but our y value. So y equal to f of x. So except this dx whatever given in the question that is our f of x. Isn't it? So now look at this question except this dx what is remaining 1 by 1 plus x square. So that is our y. So we know that y equal to f of x which is equal to what? 1 by 1 plus x square. So this is our y. Okay. Now we are going to find the value of x and y and to find that only the h value is given and moreover the limit of the integration is 0 to 1. Here integration with respect to what? With respect to x. So the limit 0 to 1 is for x only. So x varies from 0 to 1. So the beginning value of x is 0 and the end value of x is 1. In between the value of x how to find out? Using our h. h is nothing but difference between the x data. So x value starts with 0. Isn't it? x is equal to 0. Then you have to add 0.2. So what is the next value of x? x is 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8 and 1. Is it clear how to write the x data? The limit of x is 0 to 1. So the first value of x is 0 and the end value is 1 and h value is 0 0.2. That is the reason why we are writing h x value as 0 to 1. Corresponding to this x value, we have to find the value of y. How to find out? We have to put x is equal to 0 in the place of x. You can get 1 by 1 plus 0. That means what? 1. So the first value of y is 1. Likewise, we have to put all the values in this function and we can get the value of y. Okay. So substituting all the values of x in this function, we, have, we got the value of y. y value 1.9625 and 0 0.8620. Likewise, we are getting 0 0.5. Now we are applying the rule by trapezoidal rule. By trapezoidal rule. First we will write the formula. What is the formula? Integral x0 to xn. Okay, integral. This is the general formula. x0 to xn. f of x dx equal to h by 2 y0 plus yn plus 2 times of y1, y2 plus etc. up to what? yn minus 1. This is the formula. So in this question 0 to 1 dx by 1 plus x square that is what given in the question and we know the h value h is 0 0.2 by 2 into y0 this is our y0 y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 so the first value is y0 and yn here n is equal to what n is equal to 5 x0 x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 so n is equal to 5 Okay. So y0 plus y5 first value and the last value. So 1 plus 0 0.5 plus 2 times of remaining values. Okay. So 0.9615 all the values we have to add 2 times of 0 0.9615 plus 0 0.8620 plus 0 0.7352 plus 0 0.6097. So we have applied the result. So using calculator we can get the value as 0 0.78368. So this is the first part of the question. So we got the answer for the given integration. Okay. Moreover we have to determine look at the question and hence determine the value of pi. Okay. So the second part of the question we have to find the value of pi. We know that by actual integration by actual integration we know that integral 0 to 1 dx by 1 plus x square the value is pi by 4 this is a standard result okay and now we got the answer here the left hand side answer is 0 0.78368 okay so we can substitute the value here 0. 7, 8, we can approximate this as 7 equal to pi by 4 which implies pi is equal to 4 times of 
0.7837. Using calculator, we can get the pi answer is 3.1348. So, this is the second part of the question. Okay. So, pi is equal to 3.1348. Okay. This is the first problem. So, how to do the problem? Given h equal to 0 0.2. And in except this dx, what is given in the question that is our y. So, we are writing the function and h value is given 0 0.2 and the limit of integration that is the x limit is 0 to 1. That is the reason why the beginning value of x is 0 and the end value is 1. Applying the h value, we are getting all the values of x. After find out the x value, substituting in this one, we got the answer for y. After this, applying the trapezoidal rule, we are getting the integration value. By actual integration, we have a result 0 to 1 dx by 1 plus x square is pi by 4. Substituting the value, we are getting the pi answer is 3.1348. So, this is the first problem. Look at the second question. Evaluate integral 0 to 1 e power minus x square dx by dividing the range into 4 equal parts using trapezoidal rule. Instead of giving the h value, it is given that dividing the range into 4 equal parts. Range, uh, what is the range in the question? The limit that is 0 to 1, this 1 is the range, 0 to 1, isn't it? The range divided into 4 equal parts, that means what? 1 by 4, 1 by 4 answer is 0 0.25. So, instead of directly giving the h value, they are giving like this by dividing the range into 4 equal parts. That means 1 by 4 that is equal to 0 0.25. So, that is the difference between the first problem and this one. Okay. So, here given h is equal to, how we are writing this? 1 by 4 dividing the range into 4 equal parts that means 1 by 4. So, instead of writing 1 by 4, we are writing 0 0.25. And what is y? y is equal to e power minus x square except dx what is in the question that is our y. So, y equal to e power minus x square and now h, uh, h is 0 0.25 and the limit of x here integration with respect to x. So, the limit is 0 to 1. So, starting value that is the beginning value of x is 0 and the end value is 1. So, x starts from 0, okay, 0 and the h value is 0 0.25. So, what are the next value? 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75 and the last value is 1. Is it clear how to write the x data? Starts from 0 and ends at 1. In between we have to add 0 0.25. So, 0, 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75 and 1. According to this we have to find the y values. So, the y values are substituting in the place of x 0, x is 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.751. We are getting all the y values. So, in this problem, the y values are 1, 0 0.9394, 0 0.7788, and 0 0.5697, 0 0.3678. Okay. By applying the trapezoidal rule, okay. By trapezoidal rule, after find out the y values, we are writing the trapezoidal formula integral x0 to xn f of x dx equal to h by 2 y0 plus yn plus 2 times of remaining values y1, y2, etc. up to yn minus 1. Look at this question y0, y1, y2, y3, y4. That means our n is equal to 4 in this question. Okay. So, what is given in the question? Question is 0 to 1 e power minus x square dx equal to h value 0 0.25. Okay. 0 0.25 by 2 y naught plus y 4 first value and the last value. So, 1 plus 0 0.3678 okay. plus 2 times of remaining values 0 0.9394 plus 0 0.3678. 7788 plus 0 0.5697. Okay. Applying all the values, we get the answer is 0 0.74295. In this question, only evaluation. There is no need of another uh, part of this question. The question is only evaluate. So, the answer is 0 0.74295. 
295. Okay, so this is the second problem. Look at this one here y equal to e power minus x square. Substituting the value of x is 0 here, e power 0 is 1, everyone knows this. How to find out this value? Using calculator. In the calculator, you have to put instead of um, x, you have to put 0.25 square. Okay, so I hope that everyone know how to find out the e power minus x square value. If you want, simply I will put it for only one value this you can also try okay put the shift button ln that is our e and e power we are getting minus so minus x is 0.25 so point, point 0.25 x square button is there no so press that one which is equal to here we are getting the answer okay 0 0.9394 like this only you have to find out all the values okay how to find out this shift ln so that we can get e and minus the value of x and the square button okay using this you can get the answer for e power minus x square okay so this is the second problem under the numerical integration so the numerical integration is uh, we have many results under the first one is under this the first result is trapezoidal rule for the trapezoidal rule we are having error and order and we have the why we are calling the rule as trapezoidal for that we have a reason and geometrical interpretation also we are uh, discussed and the next one we have discussed the problem directly the h value is given in the first problem so that we have got the answer for y after find out the y value you can write the rule and finding the answer the second question instead of giving the h value directly it's given that dividing the range into four equal parts that is the reason why here we are getting h is equal to 0.25 Okay, thank you for watching.